Iran's Natanz nuclear site struck by cyber attack by Israel. And this is a topic report. Iran nuclear site cyber attack Israel is the name of this topic. Our first headline we're going to talk about here is electrical problems strike Iran's Natanz nuclear facility. This is from ChannelNewsAsia.com. And the excerpt here, an electrical power problem caused an incident at Iran's Natanz underground nuclear facility on Sunday, Iranian press TV reported, a day after Tehran launched new advanced uranium enrichment centrifuges on the site. The incident caused no casualties or contamination, Iran's Atomic Energy Organization spokesman Beruz Kamalvandi said. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and go away, work my way up because this kind of goes in reverse order as far as the timing goes as it was released. Attack on the Nantes nuclear plant will set back Iran's program by nine months. This is from the Guardian.uk. The New York Times and Natanz, a study in contrast from AmericanThinker.com. Iran blames Israel for attack on Natanz nuclear site from France24.com. Iran to take revenge for attack on Natanz nuclear site from BBC. There you go. There's you go. That's that's what we're talking. Well, actually, um, never mind. This did go in the order that I wanted it to. Ha. I read it in reverse. What I really should start with here. Initially, it was accident at Iran nuclear facility a day after New Deal breach. This is from NDTV.com. What they initially reported, an accident took place at an, and that's a that's a quote. An accident took place in an Iranian facility on Sunday, but caused no casualties or damage, the FARS news agency reported, citing spokesmen of Iran's nuclear agency. Then we go to Mossad. So initially they were calling it an accident. I think they wanted to kind of cover it up. Initial oh year, electrical problems, and then accident. And then finally, Mossad behind cyber attacks on the Natanz facility that Iran called nuclear terrorism, Israel media claims. This is from RT.com. So RT.com. Remember, Rush, RT is a Russian asset. Russian nationalist asset. Israeli intelligence was responsible for, for the incident on Sunday at Iran's Natanz nuclear plant, which saw a blackout at an electricity distribution network. Israeli media outlets are claiming, citing unnamed, quote, Western sources, unquote, calling an attack and an example of nuclear terrorism. Iranian officials said the incident had not caused any damage by reports and in this Israeli media that followed dispute that. And you could see some of these stories then as they unfolded, as I got to them and did get, didn't get to them in the right order. And for that, I will definitely have to defenestrate myself after the show's over. And I'll videotape it and share it on uh, YouTube later on. Probably not, though. Iran calls blackout at Natanz atomic site nuclear terrorism after country restarted centrifuges. This is from skynews.com. And then they said they'll, I saw this, I read this for you already, that they're going to take revenge and they're blaming Israel and the New York Times and the Tons. That's interesting. Let's see what the American thinker has. The radio, okay, the, the news on the radio was in sharp contrast to what I was reading, apparently. Something happened to electric power at the Tatan nuclear arrangement site, which just the day before had witnessed the grand opening of Iran's brand new state-of-the-art uranium enrichment centrifuge cascade presided over by Iran's quote-unquote moderate President Rouhani. The extent of damage, if any, was unclear from the news reports like this one or that posted later. So in this study, in contrast by the Times editorial board, exemplifies the ever-attempted invariably failing approach of dealing with bullies by acknowledging the legitimacy of their grievances and bowing to their demands in the hope for reciprocal moderation on their part, while events at Natanz revealed the actions of someone not exactly convinced that appeasement works, taking a more controversial, con confrontational approach. Well, it's really just nation-state politics at work, and the nation-state of Israel is looking at Iran and looking at everybody else and saying, we don't trust you to look after our nation-state interests, so... We're going to do what we got to do. That's nation states for you. That's, that's, that's what it is. 